all the thousands of other excited people to see the fastest entertainment on the planet. <laughs> at the Europa Hotel for one of the highlights of the Northern Ireland social calendar. It's a Miss Northern Ireland competition. Oh, it was great. We've had so many great girls and so many people. We could have had like a top 26. Everyone was brilliant. Me here's Francis Rossi from uh, Status Quo. Francis, nice to, nice to meet you again. He said that when he came in. Nice boy. <laughs> you can't see him, I can. I'm Gronya McGarvey on the red carpet at the Aerobo Hotel in Belfast for the 2010 Go Belfast Awards. I'm always getting naked. I've, Do got, great, now, no? I've got great pants on. I'm going to shaft the shirt. She's, she's going to get embarrassed. But look at these. <laughs> I'm at the Radisson Blue Hotel in Lima Valley for the finals of the 2010 Colour Village of the Year competition. I'm Winifred Glover, Curator of World Cultures in the Ulster Museum and we're standing in the Egyptian Gallery and we have a display here called Life and Death in Ancient Egypt. Lottery money is being used to support new ways of bringing the private sector and communities in Northern Ireland closer together. Hi, I'm Lucy Evangelista. And I'm Gary Grattan. And we're outside the Europa in Belfast, where the Grand Ballroom has been transformed for full fashion summer catwalk show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Several hundred women from all walks of life gathered in the hotel's main function room for the event, which was compared by Wendy Austin from the BBC. But the night belonged to Kate Carroll, whose husband Stephen, a serving police officer, was shot dead by dissident Republicans in Lurgan earlier this year. I think it's the best birthday present Steve has ever had. Hi, I'm Gary Grattan. And I'm Gronya McGarvey. And we're here at Down Royal at the Northern Ireland Festival of Racing. I'm here to check out the fashion and he's here to try and make us some money. It has been probably two months, three months. I came in for a couple of days a few months ago just to my sister and all. I'm very pleased to have with me here Callum Best. Callum, Hello. welcome back to Belfast. Oh, it's great to be back to be honest here. Yeah. I'm at the Grove Library in North Belfast where a lot of sporting heroes have turned out for the official launch of the All Our Saturdays exhibition. Well, I remember my first time appearing in the Ireland Saturday night and going into up the town in Portadown with a polythene bag because I wanted to buy two copies, one to send to my grandmother. <laughs> and that's way, way back. Uh, I'd hate to tell you how far back that is. It was the our lead into sport Saturday night. We got all the football going back to Malcolm Brody's. Uh, Malcolm Brody says we look forward to that every Saturday night. I'm standing here in Ballyclare Main Street, which is covered in sand. People are quite literally horse trading all around me. That can only mean one thing. It's the annual Ballyclare Mayfair. <laughs> Wake up in the morning with a head like what you've done. This used to be the night, but I don't need another one. Good luck cutting nothing, carrying on your wearing gowns. So how come I feel so lonely when you're up getting down? I'll play along when I hear that famous song. Yes, it's the first time to come to Belfast from the Little Boys of Bangkok. 